Good afternoon. Today we're just outside of Squamish, British Columbia, and we're going to experience the Sea to Sky gondolas behind me. Let's go and explore. Now, if you're feeling energetic, you are able to hike to the top and get a one-way ticket return. I don't think we're going to do that today. After years of planning, the Sea to Sky gondola opened on May 16th, 2014. Once you board one of the 39 gondola cars, you're treated to a 10 minute ride, which lifts you 3,000 feet above sea level to the top of Mount Habrick. The cable that holds the gondola is 55 millimeters in diameter and made up of six strands for extra strength. The cars have floor-to-ceiling glass windows, which provide stunning views of Howe Sound and the surrounding mountains, including Shannon Falls and the famous Stalmas Chief climbing area. Once you're at the top, you can relax and enjoy the views from the Summit Lodge or explore more attractions. Taking the 1.3 kilometer panorama trail will lead you to several viewpoints as well as a cantilevered deck that juts out over a sheer drop. The Spirit Interpretive Trail allows guests to learn about the Squamish Nation and its close relationship with nature that stretches back thousands of years. This short 400 meter loop takes guests to the Sky Pilot Suspension Bridge. The bridge itself is 100 meters long and gives amazing 360 degree views of the area from the high alpine mountains down to the house sound below. Here's a view of the Summit Lodge. If you grab a beverage or a snack, you can enjoy them while taking in the scenery from this octagonal viewing platform. Families with younger children can enjoy a nature-themed scavenger hunt along Alpine Alley. There are also other more challenging trails available for experienced hikers. Then once you're ready, board another gondola and make your way back to the bottom of the mountain. Despite being a popular attraction, operators have faced tough challenges over the last couple of years. 
On August 10th, 2019, vandals cut the cable and 30 gondola cars were ruined, causing between five and $10 million in damage. Operators set about to repair the attraction and were scheduled to do so on February 14th, 2020, but were held up due to complications with the COVID pandemic. Finally, the attraction was open to annual pass holders on May 22nd, 2020, with extra safety precautions and social distancing measures in place. It was then open to the general public six days later. We had the opportunity to visit the attraction in late August, but just after we took this video, vandals struck again. On September 14th, 2020, despite new security precautions, the cable was cut a second time. Not to be deterred, the owners sprung into action and have already ordered a new cable and begun the process of rebuilding. It's a real shame that this has happened as the Sea to Sky Gondola is a world-class attraction and showcases the natural beauty of the Sea to Sky Corridor. Construction has also begun on a new tree walk attraction. The structure of the tree walk has been designed to integrate into nature, allowing guests to enjoy 360 degree views while they wind gently around the tree, 27 meters up into the sky and above the clouds. It's meant to enhance visitors access to nature while protecting environmentally sensitive areas. We're going to continue to watch this story unfold a reward has been placed on information leading to the arrest of the vandal. Here's hoping that the Sea to Sky Gondola will be back for the 2021 season. If so, we'll definitely be back for another visit to check out the new Skywalk. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe and share. Until next time, it's time to exit through the gift shop.